lanthanide contraction. In this lecture, I will teach you super easy concept of lanthanide contraction. You will also learn my personal trick to memorize elements of the lanthanide series. So watch this lecture till the end and you will learn something awesome. Firstly, let me teach you my personal trick to memorize lanthanide series. For example, consider the President and Prime Minister of Canada sitting at the table. I say Canadian President and Prime Minister at same European golden table. Secondly, on the table there are eggs, tomato and lemon. I say dry hot egg, tomato, yellow lemon. So I say Canadian President and PM at same European golden table dry hot egg, tomato, yellow lemon. We know that lanthanide series starts from lanthanum. I write lanthanum LA. Now the C and Canadian stands for CE, PR and the President stands for PR, ND and the AND stands for ND, PM stands for PM, SM and the same stands for SM, EU stands for EU, G and D and the golden stands for GD, TB and the table stands for TB, DY and the dry stands for DY, HO and the hot stands for HO, E and the X stands for ER, TM and the tomato stands for TM, Y and the yellow stands for YB, L and the lemon stands for LU. This is the length night series. I challenge you that you will not find this mnemonic in any book or in any video. Just remember this picture of Canadian President and Prime Minister. Now to learn lanthanide contraction, we must learn the concept of ionic radii and shielding effect. For instance, what is ionic radius? Well, consider this atom. We know that this is a valence electron. Let the distance between the nucleus and the valence electron is r. We define ionic radius as the distance between valence electron and the nucleus is called ionic radius. Let me repeat it. The distance between valence electron and the nucleus is called ionic radius. Hence this R represents ionic radius. Now what is shielding effect? Well, consider this man holding this umbrella in the rain. We know that this umbrella protects or shield this man from the rain. Or we say this man doesn't receive any raindrops. Similarly, consider this atom. The electrons in the third shell shield the nuclear force on electron and the fourth shell. Let me repeat it. The electrons in the third shell shields the nuclear force on electron and the fourth shell. We say that the electrons in the third shell act like umbrella which decreases the nuclear force on outermost electron. Hence we define shielding effect as the inner electrons shield the outermost electrons from the nuclear force and reduce nuclear hold on them, this effect is called shielding effect. Let me repeat it. The inner electrons shield the outermost electrons from the nuclear force and reduce nuclear hold on them, this effect is called shielding effect. Now let me teach you the concept of high shielding effect and low shielding effect. In case of high shielding effect, consider this atom. Let this orbital strongly block or shield the nuclear force. Now the electron and this orbital receive less nuclear force. As a result of this, it will move in outward direction and the ionic radius or size of an atom increases. On the other hand, consider this atom. Let this orbital partially block or shield the nuclear force. Now the electron and this orbital receive more nuclear force as a result of this, it will move in inward direction and the ionic radius or size of an atom decreases. Thus note it down that the higher the shielding effect, the larger is the atomic size or ionic radii. While the less is the shielding effect, the smaller is the atomic size or ionic radii. Lastly, let me teach you shielding effect in SPDF orbitals. The order of shielding effect is like this. 
S orbital has highest shielding effect while F orbital has lowest shielding effect. But I do not teach this concept. I teach you my own concept. I say the order of nuclear force leakage is like this. For example, consider these two cases. In the first case, this is F orbital. According to this order, the nuclear force leakage of F orbital is maximum. Hence, nuclear force will leak from F orbital and this electron will receive strong pull. As a result, the atomic radius decreases. Thus, we say that the more the nuclear force leakage, the smaller is the ionic radius. In the second case, this is S orbital. According to this order, the nuclear force leakage of S orbital is minimum. Hence, no nuclear force leaks from S orbital and this electron receives negligible amount of nuclear force. As a result, this atomic radius increases. Thus, we say that the less the nuclear force leakage, the more is atomic radius or atomic size. If you have learned all these important concepts, I congratulate you. You have already learned the concept of lanthanide contraction. Now, what is lanthanide contraction? Well, consider this lanthanide series. We know that lanthanum is the first element and Lu is the last element. Now, listen carefully. If we go from left to right, the atomic radii of lanthanum series decreases from 187 picometer to 172 picometer. Let me repeat it. If we go from left to right, the atomic radii of lanthanum series decreases from 187 picometer to 172 picometer. This decrease in atomic radii of lanthanum series is called lanthanide contraction. Now the most important question is, what causes lanthanide contraction? The answer is simple. Consider this atom of lanthanide series. We already know that nuclear force will leak from F orbital and this electron will get strong nuclear pole. As a result, the size of atom decreases which we call lanthanide contraction. Thus, it is due to leakage of nuclear force or due to weak shielding effect of F orbital, the nucleus strongly attract the outermost electrons and the size of atom decreases. In the light of these facts, we define lanthanide contraction as the gradual decrease in the atomic and ionic size of lanthanides with an increase in atomic number is called lanthanide contraction. Let me repeat it. The gradual decrease in the atomic and ionic size of lanthanides with an increase in atomic number is called lanthanide contraction. Remember that the cause of lanthanide contraction is poor shielding effect of F or battle. I hope that you have learned all about lanthanide contraction.